In this video I'll show you how to turn this into this for about 20 pounds. The Shram Eagle family has a number of different derailers in their lineup. But when you look closely at the difference between the high-end X01 and the low-end NX, the main difference is primarily the weight. They all have the same type 3 roller clutch and they have pretty much the same design apart from this one but very important little difference. But more about this in a minute. Let's get into the action. You're going to need some picks, a wire cutter, 5mm hex key, T25 key and a chain breaker to break the chain. The part you are going to need for this upgrade is called SRAM Rear Derailleur B-Bolt and Limit Screw Kit X01 Eagle. At the time of making of this video you can get it for $15.99 from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below so grab yourself a bargain. Start by breaking and removing the chain, then using the wire cutters Cut the nib securing the end of the gear cable and loosen the gear cable using the T25 key. Once done, pull the cable out of the derailleur. Next you're going to have to remove the derailleur using the 5mm Allen key. For the purpose of this video, I'll be transferring the X01 bolt kit that I've upgraded my SRAM GX derailleur with to a brand new NX derailleur. Start by removing the stock bolt from the derailleur. Using a pick, try the little retaining clip that holds the bolt inside the derailleur. It's a bit fiddly, but with a few attempts, you can get it out easily. Then push the bolt out. As you can see, the original bolt is just one piece. There is no moving parts to it. The replacement bolt, however, has an additional bushing, which prevents the wear of the bolt itself, which means crisper shifting. Assemble the replacement bolt in the following order. First take the medium o-ring and slide it over the bolt until it gets into a little groove at the end of the bolt. Next slide the bushing over. Then take the smaller o-ring and slide it over the thread so it sits in the nice little groove. Then take the biggest o-ring and slide it into the derailleur mounting point. It also needs to sit in a groove inside the derailleur. Next push the bolt through as shown. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It takes substantial effort to record this for you, so that's your simple way to show appreciation. Final step is to push the new B plate in until you hear a nice little click. Last thing to do is to put the derailleur back on. And surprise surprise, there is no play anymore. What sort of voodoo magic is this?